it's not necessarily fear-based, like, oh, Terminators are going to come get us, <laughs> but this hype cycle that's going to happen. You know, a, a handful of years ago, this happened with chatbots, where everyone thought chatbots were amazing, and then we ran into the limitations of chatbots. We got disillusioned, and we all kind of threw them away and disliked them. And rather than doing this, what could we use this for? Let's how quickly can I have an ebook out there? How quickly can I stand up uh, something that's white labeled? How quickly can I just grab market share and eyeballs instead to be just a little bit more considerate? Like Ryan's yeah. list that he gave it is a, a list that's like, this is value that he's found, right? And it, obviously a great list. What we're seeing is the thing that we keep seeing in a hype cycle where people are jumping to, you know, uh, ready, fire, aim. And I think right now, I'm not saying we need to have a six month wait on anything. I'm saying we're going to have a lot of disappointed, disillusioned people because they believed an overhype on something that is incredible. Uh, this stuff that we're getting with LLMs and, and image generation and these tools are absolutely great, but they've really only been out for six months. Let's give them some time to finish baking and let the innovation happen organically and intellectually instead of just hey, how can I get something out yesterday, throw something out that's a B minus, and then run a B minus company. Let's take time to use these tools to get A's because to Ryan's point, we now have abilities we did not have before. We can do things amazingly. So let's just lean into that and say, let's make the best stuff and find the best use cases of this rather than what's the obvious lazy stuff. Mm -hmm.